My name is Leman Yan. I'm the Global Medical Director in Immunology at Baxter Bioscience in Westlake Village, California. The title of our study is Safety and Tolerability of an Intravenously Administered Alpha-1 Proteinase Inhibitor, A1PI, at an Increased Infusion Rate, a novel, randomized, placebo-masked, infusion rate-controlled crossover study in healthy adults. Alpha-1 Proteinase Inhibitor, also called Alpha-1 Antitrypsin, A1PI is a glycoprotein synthesized in the liver. It's found in protective concentration in the lungs of healthy individuals. In the absence of A1PI, there is a damage to the alveolar wall, which may cause a loss of lung elasticity and lung tissue, and which may eventually lead to progressive emphysema. Currently, there are four A1PI preparations with varying infusion durations from 15 to 75 minutes approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Infusion duration varies based on the product's A1PI concentration and approved infusion rates. Glacia is the only ready-to-use liquid preparation of purified A1PI. It is indicated for chronic augmentation and maintenance therapy in adults with clinically evident emphysema due to severe congenital A1PI deficiency. Until recently, the recommended infusion rate was 0.04 milliliter per kg per minute. This study assessed the safety and tolerability of glacia at an increased infusion rate of 0.2 ml per kg per minute with an aim of shortening the infusion duration. It was a prospective randomized rate-controlled placebo mass crossover study in healthy subjects. Glacia was administered at the recommended dose of 60 mg per kg, and human albumin 5% was used as a placebo at the same A1PI infusion volume. The infusion rate of the A1PI solution was masked by infusing a placebo solution simultaneously at the opposite infusion rate. Therefore, neither the subjects nor the clinical staff were aware whether glacia was being administered at the rapid or standard infusion rate. This carton shows the infusion administration. A1PI, glacia, and uh, placebo were administered simultaneously through a white connector into a single infusion site. The subjects were randomized into two groups. At day one, group one received A1PI at an increased infusion rate with placebo at a standard rate. And the group two received A1PI at a standard rate with a placebo at an increased infusion rate. The groups were switched over at day 15. There was a safety follow-up on day 29 and day 105. 30 subjects were randomized. Subject demographics and characteristics in group 1 and group 2 were similar. Looking at the adverse event profile, there were no subjects discontinued the study due to adverse events. All 30 subjects completed both infusions of A1PI and placebo in two separate treatment periods. There were no serious or severe AEs reported. A total of 36 adverse events were reported in 16 subjects, and all AEs reported were of mild intensity. There were seven adverse events in six subjects occurring during or within 72 hours of infusion, and they were considered to be related to treatment. These adverse events were dizziness, headache, chest discomfort, fatigue, and pain in extremity, 
Five of them occurred at the standard infusion rate and two of them at the higher infusion rate. Overall, the number of infusions with AEs that began during the infusion or within 1, 24 or 72 hours, regardless of causality, was lower for the higher infusion rate compared with the standard infusion rate of A1PI. There were no infusions interrupted or discontinued. No infusions were administered at a reduced rate due to AEs. Infusion duration was shortened when A1PI was administered at a higher infusion rate. The infusion duration ranged from 64 to 76 minutes with the standard infusion rate, whereas with the higher infusion rate, the range varied from 12 to 15 minutes. Therefore, we can conclude that A1PI was well tolerated when administered at a higher infusion rate of 0.2 milliliter per kg per minute without an increase in the rate of treatment emergent adverse events. The increased infusion rate from 0.04 to 0.2 milliliter per kg per minute resulted in a five-fold shorter infusion duration. We believe that this shorter infusion duration, along with the ready-to-use formulation, has the potential to improve the quality of life of patients who need to be on A1PI therapy on a weekly basis. Thank you.